Welcome back once again everyone, I'm K Plays Games and it's EVE Online time again. Let's get right into it and get a level 4 mission on the, on the way. Now this is an anomic base and anomic base and anomic teams are very special missions which usually only let you use like a frigate. Well, this one lets you use quite a lot of things. But these are extremely difficult. And luckily, you don't incur any standing loss if you decline them. So let's decline. I mean, it's, the payouts are great and they can drop really good stuff. But you do need very specific ships with very specific fits to run them. So we'll just be declining them as and when they pop up. Because we are in no way good enough to deal with that stuff right now. Okay, smuggler interception against blood raiders, so we'll have to refit the ship for EM and Therm. Right, we're picking up 10 militants. I'm sure we've done this in level 3. A couple of thousand loyalty points, it's pretty good. And bonus rewards, 400,000 if we do it within 3 hours and 6 minutes, that's accept. Change the ship out to our cruise missile variation, and then we'll get on with it. We'll try it like this, and we'll see how we do. The differences between the two missile types. Although the Mjolnir does less damage per missile, it fires a lot faster because it's a rapid heavy. And the things that are really important is the explosion velocity and explosion radius. You want a faster explosion velocity, which the heavy has, and a smaller explosion radius, which the heavy has. Because missiles always hit as long as they're in range, unlike turrets, which can miss. But the missile damage application formula is extremely complex. Essentially, it boils down to looking at the explosion velocity of your missile's explosion versus the target's speed, and the explosion radius of your missile opposed to your target's signature radius. Signature radius, well, explosion radius doesn't mean that they do area of effect. They don't, it's just what it's called. So you want smaller, faster explosions. Kind of makes sense, really. And that's why heavy missiles are better than cruise missiles for applying damage. Warp drive active. Okay, let's see what happens this time. Luckily, because it's cruise missiles, these go more than double the distance and they only take 10 seconds to reload. Again, we have no missile guidance enhancers or guidance computers because of our low skills. So most of our damage will be coming from the heavy drones if we can get them out. 318.9 DPS if we can use them. And the Stratios will probably deal more damage than this ship, but the Stratios will just melt. Warp drive active. And we saw it in a previous mission, this large armor repairer repairing nearly 800 armor was barely able to keep pace. Okay, this is a lot of bad guys. But luckily, they're all pretty far away. So let's... And hopefully, they won't all aggress at the same time. Let's just... Fire some cruise missiles at this guy. That's one. See, they do have much slower rate of fire, because it's not rapid heavy. And that's two. It looks like three volleys will be enough to kill him. And there goes the third volley. Second volley is just hitting him now. The third volley is on its way. Was that enough to kill him? Yes, okay. So, good. We have learned something. Three volleys is enough to kill 
that particular battle cruiser, which is great because knowledge is power. That's one. That's two. And that's three. So hopefully he'll die. This is the key thing you need to remember about missiles. There is a flight time and a delay to your damage. Not quite three that time. Yeah, we'll just do one more. And if you don't care about the cost of your ammo, feel free to just spam them. But it's not really just about the ammunition expense. It's about the time as well. You don't really want to be wasting all the cycle time on a target that's already dead. Right, let's just get the drones to finish that guy off. I'm not going to waste any more missiles on him. So there are 50, 50 EM in Therm. Well, he is. 5644. What's this guy? 5050. 50. 50-50, okay, maybe our resists were wrong. So your cruise missiles aren't applying much damage to these. And our drones are taking aggression from something because they're medium drones. Yes, these, these cruisers are shooting at the drones. Let's bring them back. We will get energy neutralized when they get really close. So when that happens, we'll just activate this and disappear. Track and disrupt me all you like, I don't have turrets. Well, that sucked. It took ages to kill that cruiser. And which is another toss up between rapid heavy and cruise. I mean, cruise missiles are absolutely demolishing the battle cruisers because they're larger targets. So I think we'll let the drones chew in the cruisers and we'll concentrate. And the big boys. Remember, this is a drone bonus ship, so they're just chewing through it. The previous one was taking ages. Do you have to watch out for all the other groups aggressing? This isn't even the the last room in this mission because there's an acceleration gate here. Oh, we're finally taking damage. Shield damage. So we're 72.49. Yeah, maybe we should have uh, balanced our resistances. A module has run out of charges. So far, so good. Drones are doing their thing. And we're slowly doing our thing. Tanking is just easy peasy. And we haven't moved, we're literally just sitting still. The cruise missiles look like they're doing... Well, they are doing more damage to this because they couldn't apply it to the cruiser very well. 
this really illustrates the difference between cruise missiles and heavy missiles. Big missiles against big ships. Big slow missile explosions versus big slow ships. Hooray, one battleship down. Well, this is going pretty damn well so far. We'll shoot at this battleship. A, because it's the only thing in range. B, because we'll hit it better than anything else. And C, hopefully by hitting him, we'll aggress everything else. Don't think anything else is elite. There's one or two have dropped loot, not a lot. Happy days. That worked, that's good. It's aggressed everything. When everything else comes within drone range, we'll send the light drones out first, hopefully. Get rid of these frigates, although they don't seem to be elite. No, it's just a normal frigate. I'll still aggress and mess up our heavy drones, though. Uh, mediums, I should say. So these three guys at the back are just going to chill out, it's fine. Well, this mission's fairly easy so far. I was concerned when I walked in and saw the big mass of red, but it's been fine. 106, 105, good, he's in range. Go drones, go. I have to aggress these guys at the back, they're miles away. Oh, you know what, we'll just start moving towards the gate. We're going to have to get there anyway. And without a traditional propulsion module, it's going to take us forever to get there. And the drones are attacking the only thing they can see that's within their aggro range. Let's just bring him back. How slow everything is. Like nothing's really burning towards us at any great rate of knots. Works for me. I would seem to be applying all right to that guy. It's not a problem. By the time we lock it, he should be in range. Yep. Because battleships take a long time to lock things. The lack of mid-power slots on this ship is rather annoying because there's lots of things I'd like to have but can't. Luckily most of them have low slot equivalents. But then your low slots is for your tank and your damage output. Can't have everything. That's where ship fitting, the art form, really comes into its own. Right. No more frigates. We don't need the little drones. We'll switch to the mediums. Put the ogres out. I think all these cruisers would shoot at them. If we had sentries, it wouldn't be a problem. We'd just shoot from here. Right, I am going to put out thermal drones. I can go and munch on them. I'll reload everything and then I'll kill the battleship. Oh, 
normally assume that this second room's just going to be a huge big ball of bad guys. That's fine. I won't place a bookmark until we actually get closer to the gate. Hoping to keep everything in a big ball about 40 kilometers across so the Noctis doesn't have to move, thinking ahead. Tell this is a, a ship with drone bonuses because the drones are just messing everything up. It's another one down for the drones. I have a feeling this cruiser has got himself stuck. Looks very much like it. Let's investigate. Yeah, he's got himself wedged on the scenery. This happens a lot in missions and the developers cannot be bothered to move their spawn point a few kilometers away from it. They've done it on some missions, but not very many because they get bored easily. Uh, we'll just preserve our missiles. We haven't got that many of them on board. It's another bonus to slower firing missiles. We won't actually chew through our supply as quickly as we would have done with the heavy missiles. Yeah, well, this has been a breeze so far. Just a, a nice chilled out turkey shoot. Beautiful. Come on drones, you can make it back. A drone navigation computer would be lovely. Speeds up the drone's flight time between targets. Drive active. Oh, we finally made it to the gate. As predicted, great big ball of bad guys. Elder, I think these are elite. Maybe not. We'll kill all these little things down here first, if we can. I just want to aggress them with one missile at one target. That worked. And just this group. Perfect. Let's send the drones out. I think these elder ones are... I think they're supposed to be elite. I mean, their resistances aren't that big. We'll see if the drones suddenly start taking lots of damage. We'll know that they are. Nothing so far. So far, so good. Excellent. Maybe they weren't. They're just scrap metal now though. And I'm just gonna start smashing up the battle cruisers. No drones. No drones. You kill the frigates. Then the two destroyers. Oops. 
Oops, wasn't paying attention. Probably could have saved a, a volley. Yes, I could. Oops. Concentrating on what the drones are doing. Right, now the drones are coming back and getting swapped out for mediums. The drones can go and play with them, and I'll just start working on the battleships. These Blood Raider personal transports, they're only like sigils, no, they're bestowers. So they will deal like no damage at all to us. And they are what carry the militants we need to take back to the agent, so we'll just let them approach to point blank range before we kill them. Yeah, drones are taking a little bit of aggro from that one frigate, Midia's friend, and they're fine. Just keep an eye on them though. They're very slowly chewing through this battleship. Don't particularly want these to get very close. Everything in that pack group is trying to aggress their drones. They haven't hit them yet. Probably famous last words. Come on, drones. Come on, drones, kill it. Nice. To be careful if these guys get within 20 of us then they might start energy neutralizing you know all the stargates are behind us so we'll align to a stargate and then hit the micro jump if we have to shield at last going down No drones, don't shoot them, shoot this guy. So all the battleships are red box, which means they're all actively firing at us, but it doesn't seem to be affecting us that much. We seem to be able to tank all their damage. Which I wasn't expecting, because remember this fit is not as tanky as the last one. If we had Rapid Heavy, they'd all be in range. Oh well. Such is life. In fact, I think I'm going to target the two frigates and get the drones to go and kill them. Just to get rid of the an annoyance factor. Come on, hit him. Good. Very good. I'm not seeing any energy neutralization or any other kind of e-war for that matter. Yeah, the frigates hitting our drones because they're pretty close. Nice one guys, right, come home. Not come home, kill him. Okay, the Archons are the next target. It tends to be the, the higher the bounty, the harder they are to kill. Let's just point ourselves upwards. Yeah, we'll bring the drones back as soon as this 
that one shouldn't die, so then we'll just micro jump. I know, I know. Right, drone's back. And micro jump. Spooling up, spooling up, making this really cool bow wave. And micro jump. And all of a sudden, they're they're all many many kilometers away. Not great. The thinking behind this is that it'll let our tank fix itself. Seems to be doing all right. Yep, that's worked on an absolute treat. Well, the capacitor is not very happy, so we'll turn the, the drone tracking link off. I mean, we've only got three things on this entire fit that use capacitor, because missile launchers don't use capacitor to fire. Not sure if I remember to tell you that, but that's another excellent thing about them. I said I wanted to kill the Archons. Oh, even their shields coming back up, that's pretty good. Don't have to worry about turning the drone tracking one back on. These are medium drones shooting at a battleship, so they'll apply all their damage perfectly. So micro jump drive has worked an absolute treat. See here the dotted, very very faint dotted circle counting down as the cooldown. I'm even gonna turn the armor repairer off for a little bit because we're actually regaining shield. Just have to remember to turn it back on. Right, battlecruiser's dead. When this guy dies, I will bring the drones back and then we'll spit out the ogres. Because it's only battleships left and they're like the only things that tend to ignore heavy drones. Do I even need to be moving? Not particularly, I'm just stomp. Then the other Archon, and then it's all profits. Right, drones come back. Good timing. Armour repairers give you the heal at the end of the cycle. And shield ones do it at the beginning. So as soon as you click a shield booster, you'll get the boost. And as soon as you click a, an armor repeater, you have to wait 12.8 seconds and then you get the boost. It's more of a PvP thing, but if you've got tight timings, you do need to know that in PvE as well. Hey, question is, will the drones reach him before he dies to the cruise missiles? Just keep an eye on the damage scroll. That perfect application. 180, 180, 183. So that means that our missiles, we mouse over it, they do 528 AMP damage, minus his resistances. And you know you've got perfect application when you see all the numbers being exactly the same. Because when the numbers are different, it means that you're not quite, some of the RNG isn't quite applying it fully. Oh, shield warning, we'll use that just to tell us to turn the armor right back on. See the ogres are like 77, 140, 171. And then every time our missiles hit, it's like, Five entries all exactly the same. There you are. 249, 249, 249. So the missiles are applying perfectly. Even though we have no missile application modules on the ship and the ship has no traits for it. I may get a tracking speed script, you know, just to help the ogres. 
in the few days it will take us to train up to sentry drones. It's not a bad idea. Well, this was a lot of bad guys, but we've tanked it all fine. I had to use this one once. The problem is, these guys are a million miles away now. I could just leave and then come back in an Octus and work our way through the acceleration gate. It's probably quicker, actually. That's what we'll do. Four away. That must have been a structure. Yep. Stop shooting missiles. It's going to die. Down he goes. Of course, the drones have chosen to attack something different. A change that's coming up very soon is that drones are not automatically going to attack aggressive targets. All this means is that you're going to have to press F or right click engage target on each new target so drones are very much going to act the same as a weapon that you have to press F1 to shoot at it's a change which is long overdue in my opinion a lot of people are extremely upset about it because they had cap stable fits with ridiculously high tanks and they would warp into a combat site on a mission spit the drones out and just go away and watch Netflix and then come back to a whole room dead of bad, a whole room full of dead bad guys. So that kind of AFK gameplay is not going to be a thing anymore. Quite right too. It's about 10 years too late but the developers finally got around to it. Drones will still automatically aggress PvP or other player ships so they have actually thought that through a little bit so in fleet actions you will still be able to just spit your drones out and have them attack player ships just not going to work for NPC Oh, well, that's our second level 4 mission our first multiple room mission it seems to have been Pretty easy. Had to micro jump drive out once. We worked out the medium drones smash cruisers to pieces and cruise missiles absolutely demolish battle cruisers. So pick the right weapon for the right the right tool for the job. And it works wonders. And these guys are just gonna cream them, yep. Just a line to heal a ban. Boom! Down he goes. And that's our mission objective. I'm not going to crawl 19 kilometers at 102 meters a second. I'm just going to get the, the Noctis and do it with a tractor beam. Hey, drones on board. Let's go. Warp drive active. I mean, this ship doing 561, I will tell you that some of the fits I fly on my main character do treble that, so 1500 plus. So that's kind of what we're aiming at. Ideally, you want to be over a thousand, you want to have four figure damage for level fours. Just to make them somewhat efficient to run, they're still not very good. I mean, I have told you before that I regard the entire mission system as obsolete in the year 2020 and nothing is going to change my mind on that unless they suddenly announce a complete rebuild of the entire agent system from the ground up but that's never going to happen because that's too much hard work Warp drive active. Did we get any bounty in yet? Yep, 3 million and I'm sure there'll be another one Did you use a thousand missiles? Ooh, not good. And these are fairly cheap anyway. 
That's how you do some enterprising person. Hmm. Okay, maybe we can be that enterprising. What you'll often find is someone with a brain will sell battleship sized ammunition of all types in stations with level 4 agents in them. Because mission runners are lazy, they don't really want to Docking permission take requested. time away from grinding missions to go and buy stuff at trade hubs. They're quite happy just to spend a little bit more to buy it where they need accepted. it. So that old trade tip for you budding industrialists there, build cruise missiles, sell them in level 4 stations. We can't hand the mission in yet, we don't have the objective. We'll just go and grab it in this. Warp drive active. That's the only decent thing about level 4 missions is that the income is predictable. You know roughly what you're going to make per hour constantly. Not like exploration where sometimes you find nothing and then other times you find an implant which is worth 400 million. Which incidentally we did get. We found a, another one of these implant implant blueprints and we built it and we sold it and it was worth an awful lot. Yep, we got 333,400,000 for one implant. And this beautiful thing here. And we found Mig Raid Nirvana, Alpha, Beta, Delta, Gamma, all before. Never found an Omega until now. Exactly the same kind of materials and exactly the same skills needed, just Industry 4. So our investment in doing that early on paid off an absolute beauty. So yeah, instead of relying on single excellent loot drops like this to bump up our average pay, that's nice. The second room's just come in, so it's seven and a half million in total between the two rooms. Did that in what, 20 minutes? So you know you're gonna get seven million every 20 minutes or so from bounties alone. Warp drive active. The missions aren't very exciting. You don't get the thrill of an awesome loot drop apart from one or two of them. But it's steady income. Pretty good fun for flying fleets in. If you can get a couple of guys and cruisers, maybe a, a healer. No, a healing logistics cruiser and a couple of DPS ships, you can have quite good fun there. It's good practice for small gang stuff. Or even for incursions. This is pretty much a middling level 4 mission. Most of them are like this. It's just like your average kind of mission. A couple of rooms, a few battleships, a few other things. Nothing too big. Oh, so much for not moving. Everything's strung out all over the place. Oh, that's right. We have propulsion module. And we'll just approach that. Some of the level 4 storyline missions are really, really difficult, but very rewarding. I think one of them drops a 200 million esque implant. It'd be nice to get that. And there is another mission called Angel Extravaganza level 4, which drops a random 3% something implant in a building in one of the rooms. If you didn't know it was there until the count for it, you'd miss it. And I do know because I've done it lots of times. Oh, sometimes you get an implant worth nothing and sometimes you get an implant worth a couple of hundred mil. That's very rare. So much better than doing it in a destroyer. God, what a difference. If it was going to go down the mobile tractor unit route, 
Obviously, we'd need one for this room and one for that room. And we know how small they are. So, by the time we got back here, it would still be clearing wrecks. We'd have to use this anyway. At least this ship doesn't outpace its own tractor beams. Really? Are we still not close enough to that one? Skill queue wise, we're very close to remapping for all the support skills, intelligence, and memory. Doing missile bombardment 4, and then after this, I think I want to do gunnery 5, and then a couple of skills and large energy turret, and that'll be it. Maybe one more in ore industrial. I'll just stick it in now, do that. Just to make this thing a bit better. But after that, we will be remapping to intelligence memory and crushing all these, all the engineering stuff. See, we've got lots of headroom here. Reducing power need and the CPU of weapons and CPU of that and more CPU, more capacitor, all this stuff that we really desperately need now. We can get these are pretty good the armor compensation these increase the resistance buffs of the passive resistance modules which is fantastic and many many other skills to do as well yeah, planet management that's intelligence memory as well so after we've remapped, we'll get more planet stuff on the go. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Hey, one salvaging trip in the Noctis later. We're back home with 8.7 million isk worth of stuff, apparently. Okay, this stuff's all worth selling, so we'll select that and stick it in the loot box. Salvage, not bad. Stick that in the loot box. And everything, oops, not everything else. You just need to get handed into the agent. Complete mission. Thank you. And all this can just get reprocessed. If you find any more blueprints for ships, and we can just come here and get it from here, which is great. So that was the second level four mission of our brand new Omega enabled pilot with three and a half million skill points. Well, I hope you're enjoying these enough to come back for the next one. We'll probably do one more level 4 mission, then we'll go and find something else interesting thing to do. Hopefully, as soon as we get skills for Sentry Drones, we'll get some of them in the Stratios, and then we'll go to Kaldari Space and run some of their combat sites. And eventually, we'll go all the way up to Amar Cruiser 5, so we can get our hands on the sacrilege. Go to Minmatar space and start running 5 out of 10 combat sites. 
what you want to come back for next is another level 4 mission. Until then, take good care of yourself. See you soon.